Do you guys remember Gideon Zalalem? No? Well, it's a good thing you're watching this video because I'm going to give you guys a little refresher on who that is and why it's so important that he's back. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Drew here back again with another video for all you American soccer fans out there. And in this video, like I said, we're going to talk about Gideon Zalalem's return back to American fans' radar. You know, he was out for a little bit, but now he's back. But we'll get into all those details in a second. The first thing I want you guys to do, um, actually, I'll ask you guys. I'm not going to make you guys do it. I mean, if you want to do it, you can do it. Um, if you guys love American soccer and you want to see soccer get uh, some growth and respect it deserves in this country, then hit that subscribe button, be part of the change, and be part of the Road to 1K. Now, let's talk about Zalalem. A couple years ago, Gideon Zalalem was dubbed America's next teenage prodigy, and it only enforced that when Arsenal signed him to their academy at age 16 back in 2013. Zalalem made his senior debut for Arsenal in 2014 in an FA Cup match before spending the 2015-2016 season on loan with Scottish team Rangers, where he helped that team win the second division title. He was also loaned to Dutch club VVV Venlo, wow, well, that's a tongue twister, the following season where he won another second division title. Back in his prime of being America's teenage prodigy, he was said to be a technically gifted midfielder who in his early years was seen to have lots of potential to be a really, really great midfielder for the U.S. men's national team. He's a player who likes to keep possession of the ball and does well in teams who have that style of play, hence Arsenal. He has a knack for picking out good passes that hopefully would only improve in his career. He fell off everyone's radar after he suffered an ACL injury and had to undergo two surgeries within eight months. But now he's back and he's ready to get on American soccer fans' radar. And what better way to do that than go to the American League and show them what you're really made of and what you could be. So with moving to Sporting Kansas City and MLS a good move for Gideon Zalalem in his, in his career right now? Um, yeah, I mean, he's only literally, he's only 22 years old. I feel like he's been around forever. If you guys have been following him, like, if you guys have played FIFA, you know, he was like a wonder kid on FIFA. I'm sure a lot of people bought him for their teams up in year, whatever career modes they did. And he started his kind of professional career with Arsenal around 16 years old. So that's very, very young. That's definitely like prodigy, teenage prodigy status. And like I said, he's only 22 years old, back on American's radar, back on my radar. Because I, to be honest, I totally forgot about him for a little bit because he was, he was out of commission. He wasn't playing. He was suffering. He was suffering from injuries. Recovering from two surgeries in eight months, which is nuts. And now he's back, though. So now I'm like, oh yeah, I remember getting Zelenum. He's a, a player who really had a lot of potential back back in the day, back in his early years, which he, which was his teenage years, and he's still young. And now he's coming to the MLS. I think that's a really uh, really good move for him because it seems to be like a lot of American players are coming slowly coming back to the league. Not not exactly all at like older ages but some of them are like you know they're mid 20s or late 20s and he's in early 20s so that's a really uh, a good move for him and he's going to want to get some first team action he's not going to get that arsenal definitely not especially when he's recovering from an injury or just coming back from an injury uh teams are like big teams are really hesitant to play uh players like that especially young players because you don't want to hurt that that injury and then like stun his like his potential growth so um that would suck so is kansas city a good fit for zilalem and at this point in his career uh, yes, like I said earlier in the video, he is a player who likes to keep possession. He does well with teams who have that style of play. He likes to pick out a good pass. And Kansas City is a team who really likes to uh, keep possession more than a few other MLS teams like to do. Uh, so he's going to fit in perfectly there. Keep possession, keep possession. Beautiful match. Uh, he's going to be hopefully playing a lot of games. I know it's really risky, like I said, to play a player who's young and just had a big major injury. You don't want to tear that. And hopefully he's not injury prone now. Because uh, if he's injury prone, then that's going to be really a waste of talent. Obviously, another waste of American talent, which would be bad for us as a sport and as a country to support this sport. Um, but I think a, a move to the MLS at, at this point of his career would be really good. He, can, he, he doesn't have that much pressure on him. He's not in the spotlight back in Arsenal. Like, he's not the big teenage prodigy anymore. So that's a good weight off his shoulders. Now we can just focus on, you know, recovering from his injury, getting back into the feel of the game, getting back to who his like potential status. Okay, let's get back on the road to potential. Um, that's all I really got to say. I mean, there's not much to say other than um, I'm excited to see his first, uh, his first game in Kansas City. Hopefully, it's not one they have to go face. Um, you know, in the Concacaf Champions League. I forget who they're playing. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Okay, so I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on this move for Zalalem to the MLS. you think it's a good idea, bad idea? Is he a good fit for Sporting Kansas City, or is he just going to be another washed-up American young talent? Let me know your thoughts down below. I know this video was really short, but that's really all i got to say on this topic. And as always, guys, if you love soccer and want to see you grow here in America, hit that subscribe button and be part of the road to 1K. And I'll see you guys next time.